Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of January, okay? So this is for January, so this is like a preview. It's being done in December. So let's just see what's coming up. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I found this penny on the floor just before I started your reading. It was like right under my desk, like really right under my seat. So, and it was heads up, so I was just like, hmm, that must be for you. So, pennies, pennies is a sign from heaven, so somebody from above may be guiding you, they may be assisting you, this is messages from heaven, okay? So I don't know what that means, but um, we're just going to see what comes up for Aries for the month of January. What do we got? What do we have for Aries, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Woo! Well, that's your card. You are here. This is your energy. Okay? So this is a card of uh, order. Okay? This is order. This is uh, you sitting right on your throne, right? You're in charge. You're the boss here. So you're you're the leader. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You are going to be right in your your glory this month. I know that you are. With this being the first card, yeah, oh my god. So you are in you are in control, you are in authority, you are in a very authoritative position. Okay? Um, this is authority, so this this is a great position to be in, okay? This is also a very protective energy, so you may be in protection mode. Um, very comfortable. Wherever you're at, you, you, you earned it, okay? You earned this seat. You earned this title. So you are going to be in, com in, right, in your, right in your element, okay? You're going to be right in your element in January, there's no doubt about it. Um, you're going to be very strong. It's, uh, January is going to be a strong month for you. Okay? Um, choices. Choices. Decisions. So you may be needing to make a very sp specific choice this month. Be careful, though. Be careful with your choices. All that glitters isn't gold. Okay, this is also kind of consequences, so be careful, seriously, be careful with your choices. You're definitely going to be uh, given an opportunity to make a decision, and you're going to have to be wise about your decision. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. You may be seeing that. You may be realizing that. Um, this is extreme exhaustion as well. Somebody that is really, really tired, overtired, um, needing to get more rest, um, having a hard time sleeping. Justice right underneath you. So this is karma. The truth being coming out. The truth being seen. The truth being delivered. Somebody may have been... You may have been dealing with somebody, this could be extreme regrets. Maybe you're starting to see a situation clearly. Maybe something is being revealed. Some sort of truth has come out. Maybe you're starting to see the truth. Maybe, uh, well, that's what it looks like to me. This is the truth coming out, the truth being delivered. After being in fantasy land, because this is fantasy land. So somebody may have been fed some sort of illusion, and there could be some extreme regrets for believing for believing whatever you were believing looks to me as though we do have some sort of um, karmic justice somebody was holding on to something very stubborn obsessed obsessed with holding on to something that wasn't all that it seemed to be obsessed with an illusion because that's what's mirroring each other. But we have somebody here that is moving. They're moving. They're being put in the driver's seat. This is finding the discipline and the mental strength to move forward after resisting. Because this is somebody that has been resisting. Resisting the truth. 
but now they're moving forward. This could be something happening very quickly. This is forward movement. So this is taking the high road. Interesting. Right around the corner, somebody is going someplace. They're go where are they going? Where are they going? Oh, we had the Page of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now, I don't know if this has to do with a child that is unstable. The Knight of, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is irresponsible, unfaithful, jealous. Um, could, somebody could have some food issues. You know, somebody may have some food problems and maybe somebody wasn't seeing it. This is problems with eating. This is somebody that is not qualified. There's a lack of love here. There's a lack of... Somebody may have had their heart set on somebody that was emotionally un unfulfilling and like now they see the truth. It's like the truth comes out. This is karma and truth. Justice. It's a final decision. So there is going to be a final decision this month. Could be from a judge, okay, because this could be a judge, doesn't have to be you, okay, this is somebody in authority that is making a decision to move somebody someplace else, which is interesting. Now, this is a very stubborn energy. This is somebody that is miserable and obsessed, obsessed with holding on to something. We have a very greedy, selfish individual here that doesn't know what love is or doesn't put love first. He would rather choose money over love and they may have extreme regrets over that. So this is, this is a miser. This is a greedy, greedy, selfish individual who'd rather have money than love. But this is the justice system. This is the legal system making a decision. There's no relationship growth here. This could be some sort of split, some sort of breakup. This really isn't love. It's not love. Okay, with the Page of Cups reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed, this is moving on. Getting in the driver's seat, getting the hell out of there. That's, you know, somebody could be driving somebody someplace. This is facing the opposition. This person um, is mastering their emotions and they're they're. They're driving, they're driving something. We definitely have somebody that has a body image or a body issue. Somebody that is shallow here. Obsessed with how people look on the outside. Obsessed with their body. Obsessed with their image. Or obsessed with image, period. Not realizing that love is on the inside, not the outside. Now, this is a card of hope. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of healing. Somebody is ashamed, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. Seriously. Some, something to do with body image here. There's really nothing to be ashamed of. It's not about what you look like on the outside. It's what's on the inside that counts, and that is a message that somebody needs to hear. There's extreme regrets here. Somebody is feeling guilty for their poor choices. It could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. We do have somebody that is feeling guilty. Maybe they're feeling guilty because they were shallow. I feel somebody here is very shallow. This is a card. Of, this is a heaven. Heaven as well. This is a. There's some sort of blessing that it, there's a blessing in disguise here. This moving is a blessing in disguise. This this travel, whatever it is. Somebody is coming out of the darkness. Somebody has been abandoned or neglected. But it's the end. It's the end of abandonment. It's the end of neglect. It's getting help. Somebody is going to be getting the help, the love, the healing that they need. Somebody was being abused. Whether it's mentally, verbally, and neglected. We have abuse here. So I think there's some sort of abuse that is becoming out. Okay, the truth is being revealed. The truth is coming out about some sort of abuse. It may have to do with food or something like that. Interesting. This could be the law stepping in. 
Now, this is karma as well. Somebody could be receiving some sort of karma for their poor decisions. What is this? Ooh, could be a Leo. Could be a Leo. Could be, could be an, uh, I think it, I mean, this is a Leo. This is somebody that isn't healthy. This is poor, ill health. And it could be you. Could be anybody. Somebody isn't healthy. Okay. This person um, doesn't nurture things. Isn't very tactful. This is weak. This is a coward. But this is justice being served for whoever this person is. We have this is somebody who has a lot of pride, has a big ego. We have somebody here that is really shallow. They're really, really shallow. And they're not healthy. Their pride and their ego is taking over in some way. Somehow you are involved here. It's like this is a card of ego as well, which is interesting. Control. This is about power and control. Could have something to do with a Leo. I mean, a Leo. I said Leo again. I meant to say Libra. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We definitely have a lack. We have an unrequited love situation where it's not about love. It's about money. It's about status. It's about stereotypes. It's about social pressure. It's about um, looks. And somebody isn't. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. But this is moving. Somebody is moving to a situation where they can heal. Maybe somebody's going to rehab or they're going to um, into recovery or something. Or they need to go into recovery. This is an abusive situation. It's like we got somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt. They're very selfish. So we do have a very selfish individual here. Which is interesting. So Aries, this is the truth. The justice is about the truth coming out. This is a card of integrity. It's about doing the right thing. Somebody is getting going backwards. This is bad luck. The Wheel of Fortune is somebody is clinging to control. We have somebody here that really wants control so bad. They want control so badly. It's like that they're going to get some sort of karma for clinging to this control. They are. It's like they're going to lose something emotional it's like there's no love here it's like they're gonna this is a loss of love their stubbornness their inability to budge their inability to open up their inability to be practical their greediness their selfishness is gonna is like bringing them backwards or keeping them stuck there's gonna be there's there could be children leaving um this is a dying dream a relationship is coming to an end it's not happy it's not healthy we got these tens right here. Something is ending. Um, there's a relationship that is ending that is not healthy. And there's extreme regrets here. There is extreme regrets. If we got somebody here that is, is just like, it's like they just can't learn. Are they refusing to learn? We got somebody here that is shallow as hell. Um, and then we're going to have an ending. This is This is something coming to an end. We do. This is a death. This is the ending. Um, this is like, you see, notice this person underneath. This is like the, the, like the Grim Reaper, okay, coming to take somebody away. So, um, interesting. Yeah, it's like something is being taken away. And there's an opportunity. This is a new beginning. So endings lead to new beginnings. So we have, we have a relationship that is coming to an end. Somebody isn't healthy. They're losing their focus. They're losing their concentration. They're not strong. They're getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. And and their weakness really comes from within. Okay, this person is weak with this person is, is weak within the, within themselves. Okay, um, we have a lot of stress here. Somebody is extremely, extremely, extremely stressed with trying to cling to control to change destiny. It's like this person wants to change destiny and. It's not meant to be, you know, what is meant to be is meant to be. So that it, they're growing stressful because they can't get what they want. And because they can't get what they want, it's killing them. Okay. It's like something is dying, whether you like it or not. Sorry. So, 
We have endings that lead to new beginnings. This is a card of transformation, and this is a card of transformation. So we have a major transformation here. Somebody is going someplace else after leaving behind a relationship that is basically dead. Somebody's been resisting it, though. They've been trying to resist this ending. Because this is the resistance, resisting this ending. But this ending leads to a new beginning. There's no relationship growth there. There's 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 relationship problems. Whatever somebody has been clinging to, it's it's just a, it's a bit, it's a huge mess. But I do feel like there's going to be a decision that is made. It's going to be a final decision with the justice card. Could be a judge that is making a decision. This is final. There's no going back. Oh, this is a higher power. This is God, okay? This is, or your higher power that is involved. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Leo. Another Aries. A Cancer. Any, everybody's here, but this this is this card is ruled by Taurus. Now this is a higher power. There's a higher power involved here. This is there's there's a plan. There is a plan. So th this could this could be some sort of guidance that is coming in. Somebody is getting the guidance, or they're getting the the uh, gut or the, the intuition or the sign or the answer that they've been waiting for. I have to tell you that this could be, somebody could be passing away because this is God and this is death or a higher power. So I'm just, and this could be passing, the star represents passing away as well. Um... We have a major change here. We have a lot of majors. So your life is about to change in a very, very big way. Somebody is moving or they're traveling to a new destination. There's a higher plan. There's a higher, higher order. There's a higher order. It's all part of the plan. But we have somebody here that has been resisting it and resisting it and resisting it and resisting it. But it's over. It's like it's time. It's time to go your own way. It's time to start fresh. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to let go of this relationship that has no more growth. I see illness. I see sickness. I'm sorry. Somebody could be leaving. It could be a child leaving. Or there could be a breakup or a split, like I said. There's consequences here. There's karma as well with that justice card. So there's some sort of karmic which is under here, consequences for somebody's uh, acting out of their ego, their shallowness. This could be a marriage that is coming to an end or a commitment that is coming to an end. It could be out of your control with the wheel of fortune. This is there's a higher order. God is in charge or your higher power. This is out of your control and you somebody may be trying to control it, thinking they can control it. I'm the boss. I know what's best, but no. The only this is the highest authority right here. This is highest authority. It's out of your control. So it's like there's something that you can't control that you have to release. You have to release the need to control it. This is release the need to control. There's a higher, there's a reason. So I feel like we have somebody here that is moving to another place. It's meant to happen. There's, there, this is heaven. There is, there is, there is, it's meant to happen. This is meant to be. There's been some abuse. So anyway, I feel as though something is coming to a halt. There is a blessing that is waiting. This blessing is waiting as soon as somebody comes out of the darkness and wakes up.
and opens their eyes and believes and has and has faith and releases and lets go of whatever it is that they need to let go of. Somebody could new could be coming to take somebody away. Could be whatever that is. It could be somebody. I think there is somebody from the other side that has passed away that is helping. They are helping with this situation. So be prepared for something to end because it is meant to be. But somebody is going to receive a blessing. This is a blessing of some sort. So this is a, this is guaranteed success. So somebody is going to receive a blessing. This is a healer. So this healer is going to receive a blessing. This healer is protected. I think something is going to arrive that you that you asked for. You're going to receive a gift or somebody around you that you that this is pertaining to is receiving a gift. Let's get one more card. Somebody could be going to a church this month, okay? Maybe it's even, I hate to say this, but this is a church and this is a death. could be a funeral. And it's out of your control. Somebody is probably going to be regretting their poor choices, their inability to, to choose wisely. This is a dying dream or the end of a relationship. Observer. Observer. There's a higher power here that has been watching this whole thing. Somebody's been watching. Okay? They have. Either somebody, somebody's been watching you. They see everything that's going on. Somebody may be watching from above. And this is a card of consequences. So I don't know. I don't know who this reading is for. But I do feel like we have somebody here that is being watched. Whether it's from another person or it's from a higher power. And some sort of justice is coming. Okay? We got this one. I just cut it. Time to go. We had this the other day. Somebody is going somewhere and they're going through a new door. So be prepared. Somebody is either arriving or they're leaving. With that chariot card. They're traveling. They're replacing that fear. They're moving. They're moving. We definitely have transformation here. It's like it's starting a whole new life. We have a whole new life that is beginning. Do I think new love is coming in? Uh, I don't see that. I see healing. I see divine guidance. I see somebody leaving an abusive situation and seeing the truth and coming out of uh, darkness, coming out of darkness. And being put in it, being get getting back into their element, you know, getting back to themselves. That's what I see. It's like, I'm back, I'm back. Good luck.